And as we were saying, it's not exactly the miracle on ice, but or Buster Douglas knocking out Mike Tyson. But the Mayfield Motorsports story definitely has a Cinderella feel. A driver seemingly forgotten about by many organizations has formed his own organization with just 12 crew members and takes on NASCAR's strongest teams. That's the story of Jeremy Mayfield and his quest to make the Daytona 500 field. It is truly inspiring. Yeah. We'll say Monday to be a working race shop. We go from nothing to boom, it's all here. Like when you said it, I'm like, yeah, we're going to really get a cup race. <laughs> well, we ain't got no shoulders there. I know. It was nerve wracking. And I, like right now, I'm still kind of blown away the way it all happened. You pulled eight, didn't you? I pulled 16. I, I thought you pulled eight. I pulled eight there. 66, Jeremy. 66. You know, Jeremy Mayfield, uh, that team was not even a race team January 1st. Those guys are just trying to get to a point, get their car driving good, and maybe put themselves in the right position on those last few laps of the dual races just to get in this show. Jeremy Mayfield clocks in 35th. Two of the Gatorade duel in Daytona. And that's Jeremy Mayfield coming into the picture. 41. Oh, this is a humdinger of a battle for the last spot in the Daytona 500 right here. I knew I was in when, when AJ and I were running together for a while. Then the caution came out. When that comes out, man, with like 10 to go, it, you know, it's all hell breaks loose in. You don't know what's going to happen. And what do you say, Jeremy? It's either two or four, whatever you feel the best with. Probably four. Say two or nine, you know? Two right side, two right side tires only. Wheel straight. What do you the think of that two-tire strategy for Mayfield, Larry? Probably not a bad call in turning first part. All the way out, buddy. There you go. Good. All clear. Come to the checker. They keep it coming, baby. Keep it coming. We had a Daytona 500, brother. Jeremy Mayfield unofficially will qualify for the 51st running of the Daytona 500. Can't thank y'all enough. I mean, I'm kind of emotional too right now because it was uh, <clears throat> just, uh, it's been tough on us, you know. This is just kind of like, you know, something good again happened, you know, and, and we needed that. 43 drivers, America's best, ready to go in the great American race. Unbelievable feeling. Just hard for people to understand how hard it really is to, to do and accomplish things we've done, you know. It's vibrating real bad. It ain't the motor. Might be the gear or something. Problems for Jeremy Mayfield and a team he put together three and a half right, weeks ago. Shock off. Take the shock off. Hey, don't tell me on the radio. I can't hear nobody. Motor control arms broke, Tony. We'll have to go behind the wall this big thing. Just keep fighting, keep digging. We're, we're going to California and Vegas. We're going to run all the races. I mean, we're going to make it. Mayfield's team faced more adversity this week when crew member Paul Chidora was suspended for violating NASCAR's substance abuse policy. Still, Mayfield persevered and qualified 39th in Fontana. Afterwards, Nicole Mansky spoke with him. Two races in a row, Jeremy Mayfield has made his way into the field in his 41 car. One week later, how big of an impact did your participating in the 500 have on this team? Man, it's um, it was huge, you know, and, and the same goes for California, you know, just we made the Daytona 500, put one behind us, and um, came into California knowing we need to make this race too. I mean, everyone's going to be important from here on out, and, and um, you know, so I'm, I think they're equally important, but definitely the first one was, uh, had to get that behind us, and that definitely kept, got our momentum going for, to get here out here in Fontana, so. Um, I mean, just the guys done a great job getting us here, and thanks to all the sport and everybody involved in getting it, uh, getting us this point, and hopefully we can just continue on and go from here, go to Vegas, make that one, go to Atlanta, make that one, go to Bristol, make that one, and hopefully uh, end up in the top 35 here pretty soon. In terms of on-track performance, what do you need to happen to make sure that you are able to make these races one after another? Right, we just need to get in the top 35, you know, and, and it all goes to, um, you know, just running good, you know, running good and getting good finishes and uh, and hopefully getting enough points every week to, to get us up in the top 35. And once that happens, you know, it's a whole different story. And then we can race and, and, and work on different things to get better. And But right now our focus is just qualifying, 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 and then uh, go from there. Hopefully we'll be good enough to, to be in. In order to make the top 35, you actually have to be in the race. Jeremy Mayfield is in. He will start 39th.